In this video, you will learn three different ways on how to get the last instance in an array or some other collection. Method number one, using the length value. This probably is the most used method. You get the last element's index by using the length of the collection and subtracting one since it starts from zero. This method is quite simple and widely used, but there is one disadvantage to it. It doesn't work on the collections that are not indexed. Method number two, using the link you last method. By using the system.linkU namespace, you have the option to use methods like last that return the last instance of a collection. This method is quite versatile and works on pretty much any collection as long as it inherits a enumerable interface. And on top of that, it is very easy to read. Method number three, using the hat operator. Probably the least used method, you use the caret symbol and type in a value of 1 as the index. What it does is take the first element from the end. If you were to change the value from 1 to 2, it would take the second element from the end. This is an excellent method since it's very short and once you get familiar with it, it's quite easy to read. Similarly to the first method, this also works only on indexed collections. Besides that, the only disadvantage is that this feature is quite new. It's only available in C-Sharp 8 or later versions. So, if you are working on an older project with an older C-Sharp version, likely you won't have the chance to use this feature. That's it for now. Those are the three ways to get the last instance in a collection. If you know another neat way to do that, feel free to share it in the comments. In any case, feel free to leave a like and have a nice day.